Hi everyone, welcome back. Let's start with our first breath dive, which I call the breath inquiry. The goal of this practice is to get a snapshot, a picture of how we innately breathe. Now, of course, since I'm guiding you through this exercise, since you are observing yourself, the breath often changes. I'd like you to practice this so that you can become familiar with the questions. So throughout the day, at any given moment, you can drop in, check in, and notice the way you are breathing, your automatic breath signature, if you will. The goal of this exercise is not relaxation. It's not to find peace and calm. It's not to shape or change your breath at all. The goal of this exercise is to determine how you're breathing in this moment. So I'm going to be asking you a number of questions. Just note the answer when I ask them, but we're going to stay with the question long enough to see if it changes, if it morphs. You might find that there is absolutely no pattern to your breath, and that's something to note as well. So we're going to begin this practice by finding a common, not comfortable, posture. Somatic therapists often say that we have about three postures all day. We have that first posture when we begin an activity. So I sit down at my desk and I align my spine and I move my elbows back and I'm in perfect ergonomic posture. And then as I engage with the activity, within about a minute or two, I decompensate. So we have the immediate posture, that perfect upright posture, and then we have that decompensated posture, and then supposedly we have another posture throughout the day. Regardless, find your common posture. And we're going to start with this in a seated position because I believe most of us spend a majority of our day in a seated posture. So finding your common posture and just allow yourself to settle and see if that's correct. If you cross your legs, cross your legs. If you sit to the side or sit on one leg, do that. Let's just see what our breath is like when we adopt this common, comfortable posture. If it feels okay for you in this common posture, you can use your very expensive biofeedback sensors. I've been saying that for years. Your hands. And you can place one hand on the chest and one on the belly. If that doesn't fit in your common posture and it causes a little bit more tension, just put your hands down where you normally would have them resting. As I said, I'm going to ask you a number of questions. Don't get too caught up with a question. Oh, is that right? I don't know. Just see what arises. I invite you to not close your eyes for this exercise, but don't look at the video. Just listen to my voice. Let your eyes drop on the floor about 45 degrees in front of you. Let your gaze be soft. If you do want to close your eyes, feel free to do so, whatever works. This is not an exercise to do while lying in bed. That could be another time you do this exercise, but not the main time, because we're trying to find our breath and it's a innate way of doing it, way, innate way of breathing during the day. Okay, so in your common posture, hands on your chest and belly, if that feels comfortable. If not, just down at your side, eyes looking down. I'm going to ask you several questions. And the first one's pretty easy. Are you breathing through your nose or your mouth? And we can review all the benefits of nose breathing and of mouth breathing. So as we go further with these questions, notice if you start to judge the answer. And remember, this is a snapshot in time today. So notice if your nose or mouth breathing. Now, the next pair of questions are about location. Where does the breath begin? Where do you feel the breath start? Where does it initiate? Now, I'm not talking about the nose or the mouth. I'm talking about in the body. Where do you feel the first movement that initiates the breath? Now, one way to do this is also to just take a normal exhale and wait. Now, it's not an endurance exercise. This is not to see how long you can hold your breath. Just take a normal breath out. 
And then when you feel the desire to breathe, let it happen. Where do you feel that begin? Now you can do that several more times or just breathe normally for you. That's it. Normally for you. And see if you can find where the breath begins. Now it's companion sister question is, where do you feel the breath move the most in your body? So if your hands are on your belly or your chest, you might feel the breath begin under one hand or maybe in between, maybe in the sides, maybe in the back, depending on your posture. And where you feel it move most might be somewhere different. So notice where the breath begins and where the breath moves most, or what I like to say, what breathes first and what breathes most. For many of us, it changes. You find as we sit with this question, it begins to change. So let's move to the next question. The next part of the inquiry is looking at volume. Now, when I say depth, I'm talking about volume, not placement, not belly or chest or even the collarbones. What's the volume of the inhale? What's the volume of the exhale? Now you might notice that it changes and this connects with our next question. What's the rate of the inhale and what's the rate of the exhale? You might find the one inhale is a little bit longer on the inhale, shorter on the exhale. One breath has a longer inhale, but also a deeper volume. So notice the rate of inhale and the rate of the exhale. Are they equal? Is one longer than the other? Does it continue to change? Is there a pattern to the change? Now let's go back. Notice where does the breath begin? And what moves most? Notice the rate of inhale and exhale. Notice the volume of inhale and exhale. And just putting those three pieces together, we can begin to get what we call your breathing signature. You might find that every third breath, there's a longer inhale with a deeper volume, and then followed by a longer exhale than normal, and then it goes back. Let's get to the next question. Are there any gaps or pauses? Now a gap is midstream in the middle of the inhale, the middle of the exhale. It's like a catch. <laughs> and you might not find them with every single breath. A pause is at the end of the inhale or at the end of the exhale. So are there any inspiratory pauses, any expiratory pauses? Or are there both? Does it change? Are there any extra breaths, any extra types of breathing movements? And that could be, most commonly, a yawn or a sigh. That's a combination of all of these. A yawn, now if it's because I said yawn, that's different. But if you feel a yawn, Big breath in, followed by a ha. Ah. Every so many breaths, if you notice, is there a sigh? <sighs> is it infrequent? Is it common? A 
Let's go back. What breathes first? Catch it. What breathes most? What's the depth of the inhale and exhale? Are they shallow? Are they consistent? Some people find that the inhale might be a deeper volume than the exhale. What's the rate of inhale and the rate of exhale? Are there any gaps or pauses? Notice the ease or effort of this breath. Does it feel like a struggle? Does it feel like it's forced? Another way to access this is to speak about the quality of the breath. Does it feel free and flowing and gliding and easy? Or does it feel staccato, jagged, effortful? What's the emotional tone of this breath? Right now, right now, this one breath that's appearing. As you focus on the breath, does it feel angsty, calm, panicky, depressed in energy? If you were observing someone breathing in the same way you're breathing now, how would you describe them? Just by looking. What's that breath signature say to you? Notice the energy of the breath. Now, this is a little bit different. And you might have a tendency to want to close your eyes for this one. That's okay. You just feel the energy as you breathe in. Now, maybe you took a deeper breath there, a longer inhale, a longer exhale. What do you feel change in your energy with your breath? Notice the emotional quality of this breath, the ease or effort of this breath. Now, I invite you to scan your body. Scan your body from the toes to your calves. I'm not sure what position you're sitting in. If your legs are crossed, if your legs are down. Notice your thighs. Notice your hamstrings. Notice your buttocks and groin muscles. How tight or loose are they? Notice the muscles of the waist, the abdomen the back. Notice the muscles of the armpits, the collarbones and the rhomboids, the shoulder blades. Notice the neck muscles, the jaw, the lips and tongue. Did you notice how you were holding those? Now, if there is any muscular contraction, muscular or postural constriction that you believe is inhibiting free flowing, easy breath, play with it right now. I invite you to change your posture. Shake out any tension. Open and close that jaw. Relax that tongue. Now, this might be a posture that is challenging to maintain because this is not about finding the right posture without any muscular effort or contraction. It's about releasing any tension or postural muscular constriction that's preventing free-flowing breath. And so I just want to invite you to adopt that for just maybe a minute here. Find that posture, that upright posture. Relax the thighs, the groin, the tongue, the space between the eyebrows, the one I always tense. And see what happens to the breath. And let me ask the questions again. What breathes first and what breathes most? 
Did that change? Did the quality of it change? Notice the volume, the depth of the breath. Now, this isn't about location again. It's not about what breathes first and what breathes most. It's about the volume, how much. Notice the rate of inhale and exhale now. Did that change by releasing many muscle tension, up, aligning the posture, rate of inhale and rate of exhale? Notice any gaps or pauses. Did that change as a result of adjusting your posture? And what about the ease or effort, the quality, the flowingness of the breath? Is it staccato, ragged, jagged, easy? Did that change with adjusting your posture? Notice the emotional tone. Did that change from adjusting your posture and your muscles? That's a technique unto itself, regardless of the breath. Now, if your eyes were closed, and if your eyes were just looking down, I invite you, listen first, to begin to look around the room. Move your head, but as you do, notice the change in your breath. I've done this with hundreds of people, myself included, <laughs> over and over. And I find I could be doing a breath inquiry with my eyes closed or looking down, but the minute I start to look around, <gasps> the breath changes. There's pauses, the inhale and exhale ratio changes and the location changes. Okay. That's our first breathing dive. What I invite you to do now is just to write down what you noticed. And let's go over the questions one more time. Were you breathing through your nose or your mouth? I know I only asked that once. Where did the breath begin? And what moved most? Or what breathes first? Where breathes first? And what moves most? And if there's no pattern, write no pattern. Or if you notice the pattern changes, but it's predominantly here, predominantly there. So is it, so does it begin in the belly? Does it begin at the rib cage? Does it begin in the collarbones or the chest? Does it move most primarily in the chest or on the sides? It could be anywhere. What was the volume of the breath? seem like a normal volume amount of air? Did it seem like every so many breaths it was interspersed with a larger volume? Or was there a struggle to get volume in? What was the rate of inhale to exhale? Was there a pattern that the exhale was always longer? The inhale was always longer? It kept changing. They were equal. Were there any gaps or pauses? A gap could have happened maybe once throughout this whole exercise. A pause could have happened every inhale. You hold it even for a millisecond. Or was there more exhale pauses? What was the quality of this breath? Was it easy or effortful? Was there only one part of it that was easy and effortful? What was the emotional tone to this breath as you were breathing here today? Did you feel anxious, scared, sad, depressed, frustrated? We'll explore this because each of those emotions have a different breath signature. And notice your posture. Look at it again. Notice where you're holding tension. Did you already decompensate? Were you holding your jaw tight? 
If you relax your jaw, what happens to your breath? Push your head forward when you aligned your spine. What happened to the breath? I invite you to practice this. You can watch this video or just get those questions down and practice this throughout the day. It doesn't have to be five minutes, 10 minutes. Throughout the day, if you're standing, walking, going to the grocery store, picking things up, putting things away, cooking, sitting at your desk, drop in for one minute and ask yourself these questions to see if you can identify your most habitual common breath signature. And then we can explore how that influences and impacts your health. We'll talk about the components of functional breathing in the next video.